Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle blues lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, we're gonna learn a gypsy style minor blues in A minor. And by that, I mean something like this. See, I was just trying to give you an example of what we're gonna do. I haven't prepared anything beforehand. I'm just uh, gonna give you a lot of ideas and then you're gonna take it and create your own interpretation. So, um, that's the idea. It's just... Hey, the bass notes are just uh, beats. Okay, no Travis picking needed. You can just uh, go happy about it. It's just a happy beat. So, um, as you saw, I didn't use the... Okay, the A minor, D minor, and, and E7 uh, basic positions. I use these. Okay? And that's what we're gonna start with. So for A minor, it's 5 5 5 and the open A string. Okay? On strings 1, 2, and 3, of course, 5 5 5. And on D minor, it's strings 1, 2, 4, and it's 5, 6, 7, and the fourth string open. Okay? And you can immediately start by just uh, moving it one fret down and back up. Okay, so yeah, you can do seven on the E string and then the chromatic. Okay, add it to the chord. Okay, or use seven and eight on the E string for very simple licks. And then the next five would be the next chord, the D minor. And the same thing, you do a lick and when it's time to move back, you do a lick that ends on five on the E string, okay? Okay, any lick would do. Just find your own licks slowly at first, and then, as you get used to it, take it up to speed. Okay, you can do, okay, four, five, seven, five. Just continuous licks. And then the same thing. Okay, you can just take five back to four on the D minor chord. You don't have to take all of it. And then it creates a certain tension there. Okay, but only if you want to. You can take the whole chord. Okay, and then for E7, I use the C7 shape. Okay, the C7 shape up to 5, 7, 6, 7. Okay, um, okay for E7. Okay, because that gives us a lot of options for arpeggiating using the open E string as well. And you can do the chromatic thing as well as a starter. Okay, or you can end it with Okay? Sort of a diminished run, but the idea here is to end it on an A minor note. So you have quite a few options. Um, the diminished uh, run, you can start it from the seventh of the chord, which is seven on the third string, and it's seven and ten. Then you have nine on the second string. Then you have seven and ten on the E string again. Okay, so you can do whatever you like here. Okay, any, any arpeggio would do. Okay. Okay, you can also do this, okay, down the chord, and then take it three frets down and do the same thing, because three frets down, uh, the diminished chord inverts. So. Okay, from 10 and 7 to 7 and 4, and then same thing, same shape, and then you're there and you can end it on 5 on the 3rd string. Uh, sorry. And you're back on A minor. Or, 
you can end on nine on the third string and you have the D minor shape there, okay, for A minor. And it's uh, eight, 10, and nine, okay, with the open A string. So you can do, okay, something like this, or um, let's try something different. Okay, something like this. Okay, with, uh, with an embellishment there, hammer on pull up. Okay, so, okay, you can also do, and then end on 10 on the second string. Okay, you have the right note right next to the diminished string. Okay, okay, just explore it. Okay, you can also do a chromatic. Okay. And build your lick uh, in such a way that you end on seven six five, right? And then something like this. So, hey, just work your way around it and try to figure out different approaches. And you can also do, okay, the same shape, three frets down, right? And you have different resolutions. So um, that's uh, the diminished run. Now you can also use E7 as the E7 chord. You can, yeah, you can do the A shape, the A7 shape with a bar on 7. You can do and then take it down okay, chromatically and then 4-5 chromatically back to A minor. And uh, by the way, you can do the same thing with D minor to A minor. You can do eight, seven, six, five. Okay, create chromatics all the way. You can also, okay, I missed the note. You can also use E7, the D7 shape uh, on four, four, three, four, and the E bass. So you can do, And take it to seven and then back to A or chromatically. Okay? You can explore it to your heart's content. And of course, you can use the, the basic position. It's the same, the same approach. Okay, just use the, the chord notes and you have 310 to toy with on the first and second strings. Okay, the scale notes. Uh, you can use two and zero on the third. Okay, and three two zero on the fourth. But the style here requires the soloing to be on the high notes. So just keep it to three uh, one zero on the first and second strings. You can also use chromatics as well. Okay, three two one zero. Yeah, you can use three, four on the second string and the open E string uh, from D minor to A. Okay, same thing for E7. Right, and you can hammer on from one to two on the third string if you can fit it in. Uh, you can also you can also play. Hey, uh, sort of a high seventh note if you if you're here on A minor. Okay, you have 10, 12, 13 on strings one, two, and three with the sixth string. That's uh, E seven, and two frets down is D seven. Okay, so if you want a D minor seven, you just play 10 on the third string. So it's uh, eight, 10, 10. Okay, so you can uh, alternate. And you can also have um, a sort of an interesting transition between 8, 10, 10 to 7, 9, 9, which is E. But uh, that requires breaking the, the blues pattern because it's not A minor, 
D minor, A minor, and then E7. It's A minor, D minor, and then E7, but you can do it. It's another form. That's all it is. So. Okay, I used eight there for the soloing. Okay, I played. And I almost forgot to mention the F or F7. You can play F7 as a transition uh, to E7. You can you can also do F E. Uh, F7, of course, is the C7 shape on six. So it's six, eight, seven, eight. So and it creates an interesting tension between the first and second string. So okay. okay, don't forget to arpeggiate the chords. Okay. Okay, you can use any note in the chord, not just the first string. You can use the second string as your resolve, or the uh, the third string on five as the resolution note. Okay, you can uh, skip strings in your soloing. You have plenty to work with here, okay? Including the chromatics. You can take them three frets up, three frets down, three more frets down. Okay, uh, instead of okay, instead of uh, seven four, you do four one, and you have. Okay, you can use the uh, the A minor scale notes in between the diminished notes, the diminished chord notes, and create really interesting sounds. Okay, but that's a little bit too advanced. So uh, do it after you're used to everything. Um, and you'll see a lot of different results. Okay? And on 8, for example, instead of 7, um, or even 9, and create, uh, create a chromatic approach. Okay? Uh, and it's, uh, it's a major for a moment there, but I don't want to overcomplicate you. Just uh, try out everything I just showed you and be merry about it. So um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Everything is for free, so what are you waiting for? But if you want to give something back, uh, there's a Patreon page. The link is uh, in the description. And uh, everything goes right back into Lick and Riff. And I thank you in advance for any pledge you choose to make. So um, go have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.